Hey everyone, I wanted to start my next project off here and make a video about it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be updating my Simple Cube Mini that I have here. We're going to be printing out a couple new parts, reassembling the printer. I actually had disassembled it, disassembled it for a couple other projects. So I want to reassemble this printer, get it printing, and then sell it. Uh, I have too many printers right now, so I got to sell a few of these here. So. What I've done is I've ordered a couple more stepper motors. I only have uh, three steppers for this. So I ordered two for the Z. And uh, I mean, essentially this is just to use up all these linear rails that I have. I've got so many linear rails and they're all basically for this printer. And I just wanna kinda clear my office out. So we're gonna kinda go through step-by-step step on building a Core XY using linear rails. So I've designed this Core XY myself it's um, a little bit based on a simple cube. However, I have designed all the parts myself and I have designed all the parts so that these extrusions are all the same size. So these are all 300 millimeter extrusions. This is what I'm calling a mini Core XY. It uses the same bed as a Ender 3, um, any kind of your standard 220 size bed. So I've designed these corners here so that I get the full 300 millimeter length of extrusions. And these are just standard extrusions. They don't need to be drilled, tapped, nothing. Just regular 300. This is easily scalable to a 300 by 300 build volume. You could order 400 millimeter extrusions and it would work just fine. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be documenting the process on how to actually route the belts. I'm changing this mount to just a simple E3D V6 uh, clone groove mount. Um, because I'm selling this printer, I don't want to include a $100 hot end. This is meant to be just kind of a budget printer, so... I do have adjustable motor mounts on this, so that I can actually tension my belts by sliding the motor mounts out. Which makes it very easy to do tensioning on a Core XY. Core XY printers, it's very important to have your belts tensioned correctly. Being the belt tr is so long, that's kind of one disadvantage of a Core XY printer. And we'll see that in the next video once I run my belts. The belt length is quite long. So these printers don't scale up very well. 350, 400 millimeters is probably the absolute max I would make a Core XY printer. And the reason being is the belts get so long. And once you have really long belts and no actual way to tension them in the middle, then they start vibrating and causing all sorts of issues there. So. Yeah, I pretty much got everything for this printer. I have uh, extruder, I've got a hot end, I have a auto level probe there that we're gonna set up. Like I say, I got all my linear rails, I've got fans, so just gonna be waiting on two stepper motors and then um, I'm gonna do some videos on a step-by-step -step process. We'll try to even go through maybe another clipper setup on this guy. I'll show you how to do a clipper setup on a Core XY. This is gonna use a uh, SKR Mini of course as well, just cheap and uh, again I'm trying to just get this printer built and printing well so that I can sell it off and move on to some other projects. So yeah that's a quick rundown everyone. If you have any questions or comments about this build or any future projects, you have suggestions on videos you want to see, feel free to comment below and definitely like and subscribe. Thanks everyone.